It's about time he returns to what he's good at. Villainy. Oh. He is the antagonist of this next movie, which I call I'll Photograph Your Ass. <laughs> Brendan Fraser <laughs> plays Brendan Fraser, a young, upcoming, hot Hollywood talent. He's just starred in The Mummy and some other films, and everybody wants him to star in the next big stuff. He's got a phone call to play the witch in Blair Witch 3. And he is going to be Spider-Man. <laughs> but Brendan Fraser, although he's got it all, has trouble on the horizon in the form of an evil paparazzi photographer played by Willem Dafoe. Not play So Willem Dafoe doesn't play himself. Even no. He's going to be in Spider-Man. No, this... Brendan <laughs> Fraser's, you know... So, okay. Oh, yeah, in, in this film, uh, the Green Goblin is going to be played by... Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be scary. That would actually be good. Um, so so that's that's in this canon, in this universe. Okay. Ellen DeGeneres. Um, of course, of course, Brendan Fraser's got a happy home life. He's married to Deborah Messing. He's got a child who will be played by that funny guy who was Iago in um, Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> He will play the baby of Brendan Fraser and Deborah Messing. But, oh, fuck. You, you're not going to believe what's happened. What? Evil, the evil journalist, Beanie Tuesday, played by Willem Dafoe, <laughs> <laughs> he's, going, he's setting out to ruin Brendan Fraser's career by taking a photograph of his ass. Thus proving, and in his own words, I'm going to take a photo, I'll photograph your ass, <laughs> Brendan Fraser. Thus proving to Hollywood and all your loyal fans that you've got an ass, and then they'll know how, <laughs> and then they'll know how disgusting you are. And that's basically the film. Is is this? There's a, there are high speed car chases with Brendan Fraser, like steering, screeching through New York. <laughs> Like crashing taxi cabs, <laughs> steering out of his way and smashing into pedestrians. Why is he driving away so quickly? What is he so worried about? <laughs> because behind him on a bicycle is Willem Dafoe with a handicap, snapping photographs on a, on, a, on a Kodak disposable. Show me your ass, Brendan! <laughs> Show me your in, ass! <laughs> but he's in a car. He's, uh, uh, I mean, he, his, uh, his ass is in the seat, so... Uh, I mean, how could he photograph his ass if he's driving a because car? Because he's got to stop at some point. You got, you oh. got to stop at some point. <laughs> Pretty soon you're gonna get hungry, and you'll have to stop at a garage for some funions. And then I'm gonna get a photo of your goddamn ass. You know, <coughs> I hate to burst uh, Beanie Tuesday's bubble, but. You never have to get out of a car if you have money. If you're Brendan Fraser, you can just go to the drive-thru and then go to the gas station where they have full service. And Yeah. How do you poo? To, you just have to poo in your car and then put it in a bag and then that, throw it away. Okay. That's an interesting plot point. Um, mm, thank we you. We could turn this yeah. into a whole Saw thing, maybe. Oh. Like Brendan Fraser is trapped in his car and can't escape. They can't leave the car because Beanie Tuesday is always right around every corner. <laughs> Ready to take a photo of his Yeah, head. I mean, there's, there's, there'll be one scene when he pulls up to a McDonald's. Um, he orders from the drive-thru, you know, oh, I'll have a, 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 a McFlurry with fries. <laughs> Sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, actually. He, he drives up to the window and then dressed in a McDonald's uniform. He's, he's Willem Dafoe, he's Beanie Tuesday. <laughs> just, here are your fries. Would you like a photo of your ass with that? And then he just starts snapping away at his face, and he's going, "No, no, stop tormenting me!" And he drives away. <laughs> he just he just, <laughs> <and he's, laughs> he runs over. Uh, he runs over to McDonald's shoppers as they leave the restaurant. There's a lot of property and human damage in this film as Brendan Fraser just smashes into stuff, but it's justified because he's the protagonist. Um, at one point, though, you know it's gonna happen. Willem Dafoe is close behind on the bicycle, and Brendan Fraser crashes. He crashes the car, Jonathan, into, oh no. into a school bus. The school yeah. bus explodes, flames, uh, screams of children. He climbs out the sunroof and then starts jumping from car to car, um, like on, to, on the roofs in New York, 
um, while they're speeding. And he's just jumping, he's jumping um, over the cars. It's very Matrixy. Uh, mm. We don't bother explaining why he can do it. Um, <laughs> at one point, he high fives Danny DeVito, who's swinging from a lamppost. He just goes, "You." <laughs> he goes, "You go, Goyle." <laughs> uh, <laughs> types in red and Rachel says, "I can do it. I can do it." <laughs> Mark Wahlberg says, "Quick, jump on my back." He jumps on Mark Wahlberg's back. Starts digging into his hips, going, yeah, yeah. He rides Mark Wahlberg like a horse. And Mark Wahlberg's like, stop it, stop it. I, I, I offered to help you and you're just kicking me in the ribs, you cunt. So he knocks him over and Brendan Fraser falls in the swamp, in the famous New York swamp. Um, he crawls out, grabs hold of what he thinks is a tree branch to, for, for steady himself. But it is Willem Dafoe's leg. And Willem oh. Dafoe looks down and says, Well, well, well. <laughs> I said that I'll photograph your ass. And now I'm gonna do it. Do you think Blair Witch 3's gonna want you? <laughs> when they find out you've got an anus? Not so perfect anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and he's waggling his tongue while he does that. And he's shaking his finger. Just... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, um, and overexcited. Brendan, give it everything you've got. This, this is of energy for for sell the films in Hollywood. I yes. really want this. This one. This is the one that's gonna get made. And then I'll be mm. Christopher Nolan. And then I will do the Dark Knight happens again. <laughs> that's the fourth. <laughs> film, the fourth one, starring Willem Dafoe as Batman <laughs> and the Joker <laughs> again. That anyway. Brendan Fraser says, well, you've, you've caught me. You've won, Beanie Tuesday. <laughs> Looks like you're going to photograph my ass. So with a sigh, and, and Deborah Messing's in the background just screaming, just, no, no, don't show him, you brown cleft. <laughs> Wait, so, so Brendan Fraser has to, like... Show him his naked ass? <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. He has to? Well, <laughs> listen to the plot. Okay, okay. It's right. all explained. Brendan yeah, yeah, yeah. Fraser undoes his belt, undoes his, his button and his fly, drops his pants, drops, mm. drops his wife runs, <laughs> bends over, pulls his cheeks apart, and, and he says, why don't, and he turns around over his shoulder and says, BD Tuesday, why don't you lean in for a closer look with your camera? <laughs> <laughs> Willem Dafoe says, don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'll photograph your ass. <laughs> he bends over and zooms right in on the, right on the whole of him. Mm. And that, that is when the horse flies out of Brendan Fraser's ass. Whoa. Kicks Willem Dafoe in the face. He goes, whoa! He falls out the window in the building they're now in. Not at the swamp anymore. <laughs> they're in a building and they're not on the bottom floor of the building. They're yeah, a... and he falls down in slow motion like Alan Rickman. In fact, we might just replay Alan Rickman falling, but dub Willem Dafoe over it going, bleh, I'll photograph your ass. <laughs> In uh, Die Hard, when he yeah, yeah, up. yeah, mm. and he's like, "You haven't he seen the last of me and my camera that's gonna photograph <laughs> your ass." And How big is this horse, by the way? It's it's a full sized horse. <laughs> okay, so it's a. Uh, it kind uh, of know. It's, yeah, I mean, it just kind of bursts out and it it kind of expands as it comes out. In um, fart sound, fart sound to, to no, help no, it. No, no, just regular sound, Jonathan, just horse sound. Jonathan, I, that, I figured this is a classy eyebrow film. <laughs> The horse might just makes a horse noise, or it's voiced by James Earl Jones. One oh, or two. That is classy. Let's do. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's do James Earl Jones, and he says, um, you know, you, you, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah fuck like off. <laughs> and with, with the Darth Vader voice effect on it, because <laughs> he is he is Darth Darth horse horsey. That's um, the character he plays. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it keeps, you know, Willem Dafoe gets kicked, falls out, ah, photograph your ass, whether you like it, <laughs> I'll ruin your career. And then, but and Brendan Fraser says, I don't think so when you hit the ground and die. But, well, a truck 
because we know this is a family film, so we don't want deaths. So mm. a truck drives past as he's falling, and he falls in the back of the truck. Only it's a truck full of asses. <laughs> he digs his way out of the asses, looks around, and goes, "Asses, asses!" The irony. And then the truck drives away, and as it drives, it drives past a sign with an arrow and says. Um, <laughs> 5,000 miles to never coming back again. <laughs> I figured it was some ass yeah. town. And yeah. then Brendan Fraser puts his hands on his hips and says, ass, not very likely photograph of it. <laughs> and then the credits roll. He would do that well. Uh, Brendan Fraser is another guy who's uh, best not too serious. Yeah, actually, his last line is, hey, Benny. Looks like you're on the wrong side of the river. That's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It's it's a mummy reference. Oh, I forgot about that movie. I like that one part in the mummy when all the crickets just land on a guy and he just stares at the camera. It's like, something like oh, something like oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part's good. That 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 scene's in. I'll photograph your ass. About <laughs> about 46 minutes in, we just see locusts on a guy in a fez, and he says, what have we done? And then it cuts back to the action. That would be good. I, uh, that's my favorite part of The Mummy, so why not do a callback? Um, great great idea, Jim. I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah? Yeah. I was picturing how scared Brendan Fraser was going to be, and it was, it was really getting me excited. I was picturing him doing a lot of those... <gasps> and... <gasps> You know, like, oh yeah, yeah, just so scary. <laughs> yeah, like that. He spends most of the film like that. Like he's just driving and steering and smashing into pedestrians and just. <laughs> like that, just and then in the background, const like throughout the whole film, just this constant drone of. <laughs> So that's most of the movie. Yeah. Um, and then that's, yeah, sponsored by Intel. <laughs>